Hi, everyone. Happy Saturday. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and New Year. And we're back with beautiful Maria Steuer and her Breaking Your Loyalty contract, where she talks about our limitations and beliefs and um, what we bring from our childhood and how we use them in our families and relationships towards our kids and parents and siblings. Uh, hi, Maria. It's beautiful to have you here. Hi, Vladi. Thank you for this great introduction. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you deserve it. You're great. Um, I've got a question from my friend who would love to know. Let me quickly find it. She says, how to foster lasting sibling love, fun and trust? What would you advise, please? Okay. So first, I have to mention that I do not have... Uh, how to advise is I only have why, find out why you ask the question. And uh, maybe there are two uh, positions you need to know. One is, uh, what was your position in your family? Have you been the first, or the middle one, or the last one? So uh, how you uh, react to your last uh, sibling as a parent depends on your own uh, sibling position and then you have to remember did you like your position or uh, or not and uh, and then find out why and why not and then you uh, figure out uh, why uh, you ask so question uh, so, uh, such questions or maybe you hate uh, your last sibling as as a child so I don't I don't know what in your case happened but you need to remember your sibling position and the problems and the goodies you had with this position. This is one okay. thing. Yeah. What, do you want to ask something? Yes, I wanted to say that basically I'm the oldest one out of three and I'm actually really blessed because we are, I, I, I cannot imagine to have a better relationship with siblings actually, it's admired by my friends as well. But when we were little, it was actually me and my brother who, are the, who is the youngest who always had uh, arguments because I had to take responsibility. Obviously our parents work, so I had to help a lot. So I had to look after them and help as well. Whereas I thought, oh, they can always just play, you know, but I was the one <laughs> who was always told, oh, you're the oldest, you have to help them. <laughs> oh, so you know how you act with your oldest one and with your younger one. So maybe you're lucky because your younger daughter or your younger a uh, child is a, is a daughter and not a, a, a boy. So this okay. is also, so you do not have to repeat uh, those things uh, to the younger boy. Your boy. Okay. The friend, who, oh, the friend who asked, I think she's got many siblings now. I can't remember whether four or five, but I know she has two boys. You know, I, I uh, and, um, when I got my uh, children, um, it, uh, because I didn't like my middle position, I tried uh, to uh, avoid these problems from my middle born boy. And this was a disaster because uh, he had never uh, felt any consequences of his behavior because I wanted to, to uh, protect him <laughs> from those middle <laughs> positions. Oh, okay. So is it for us to realize what we liked and didn't like and actually watch whether we're putting this on our kids? Yeah, and then see how we act to these different sibling positions. And another thing uh, you need to recognize is, you know, when, when you have your, your I always say, uh, uh, you, um, when you get your first child, you are a, a trainee parenting and the second one maybe associate parenting. And, mm -hmm. uh, and the third one, then you are a master parent. So uh, you, <laughs> you change because uh, you trust more in your parenting and uh, how things uh, yeah, work out and uh, you're more relaxed with the, third, with, the, with the third child. So this is another thing you need to know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then you have to find out, you know, how I say, why you do it, then you, uh, your friend will find his how to because when he is aware and he knows about those things and then he will find uh, an answer to his question. Would you advise, I'm just thinking while you, you were talking, something came to me. Uh, would you advise like talk to them and ask them what they like and don't like? 
to try and find out their position, what frustrates yeah. them. Yeah. Because obviously, whenever a kid's arguing, they all have their point of views and they all obviously blaming each other. So what would be a good thing to do? Would you actually sit down with them and talk to them to ask them how they feel about certain things and then agree on something with them? What not to yeah. do? No, to, to get their awareness. And I think uh, the first step is to be aware and then the, the things uh, are coming. Uh, it's, uh, it's easy, but you need to, to face your own childhood how you felt and how your position was and uh, uh, yeah, what you had to do, like you told, you had to look after your uh, younger siblings yeah. and then and then you, you will find out because you change uh, your side of you uh, on, on, your, on your own ch child, children when you uh, get aware about your own um, position in your own childhood. This, yeah. Because it, it's... Uh, uh, together those things are together you cannot uh, think that uh, uh, nothing about your childhood uh, are triggered with your old with your own kids yeah you know it's it's really interesting because I, I just thought about when because of the responsibilities I had it's funny because you know when my friend asked about trust my my both siblings would still come and actually ask me things up till now because they see what I've actually done and achieved and they knew they've seen what I had to deal with so whenever they needed advice they would even up till now you know I mean I'm 40 and my brother is actually six years younger and my sister is just 18 months younger than me so we're quite close and I mean we're all three close but they would come and, and ask me like how do you deal with this like so, and and now, you have, now you have to ask yourself I'm I'm happy with this position or do I want them to uh, uh, yeah stop asking me so many questions and mm -hmm. why why have I done this because I got attention for this behavior or, and, and do I want to continue this behavior and always be the one uh, who is asked in the family? So mm -hmm. this is your uh, challenge uh, uh, and yes. see if, if, you, if, you, if you like it nowadays or if this uh, is just because you are afraid maybe they will not love me in the same way when I stop asking that, uh, uh, answering their questions. Yeah, I, so you know what, well, you're totally right. I have to say I'm in a good position because they don't ask me too often and also I don't give them the answer. I advise them how I deal with things. And it's obviously thanks to always studying with Bob and Peggy and everyone, you know, it's the mindset. So I wouldn't actually take away the responsibility from them. Mm -hmm. And they don't do it too often. But I feel I feel quite nice sometimes that we have the bonds that we can actually, if we're in trouble, we, we look after each other. <laughs> yeah but yeah okay. we, live, we live far away so we actually hardly see each other but we see each other like two three times a year and we feel very connected so okay brilliant oh thank you so much for all your amazing advice and um i'll see you next saturday okay so have a good week and uh yeah talk to you soon yeah have a great like, week thank as well and thank you so much really appreciate you <laughs> Bye. Okay, take care, Lottie. Bye. Bye.